This week was the 50th annual Earth Day. The first Earth Day was on April 22, 1970. During the 1970s, citizens began to organize to improve the environment around them. There were lots of problems with air pollution and water pollution because of things like cars and chemicals and other things that harm the plants and animals living on Earth. All of that changed after the first Earth Day. The idea for Earth Day came from Senator Gaylord Nelson of Wisconsin. Senator Nelson was very concerned about pollution and the long-term damages it would have on the environment. In 1969, a year earlier, there was a large oil spill off the coast of California. This oil spill caused serious damage to the ocean ecosystem and got a lot of Americans to pay attention to environmental pollution. Senator Nelson and some of his colleagues organized teach-ins on college campuses around the country. A teach-in is where a bunch of people get together to learn about an urgent political or social problem so they can take action to solve the problem. They picked April 22nd because that date fell between spring break and final exams. Basically, it's a good time to expect college students to have enough time to learn about the issue. The first Earth Day inspired 20 million people to demonstrate their opposition to industrial pollution. There were protests in public parks and college campuses all across the country. Because of these protests, the U.S. government created the Environmental Protection Agency and passed laws like the Clean Air Act and the Clean Water Act. The fight for a cleaner and greener Earth continues today. A great way to get involved in Earth Day next year is to plant a tree, talk to your friends and family about the environment, or ask your teacher how your whole class can go green for the day. And who knows, just like Senator Nelson, you could change the world.